What's going on guys? I am Switters. Welcome back to Detroit Become Human. This is part 28 in the last episode. Um, we uh, gathered at that, it looked like a church, um, and Marcus decided to go to war. Uh, peace is over, it looks like. We've got to fight for what we want. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please! Please! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapons stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Please! Deviant leader, let's go with that Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please! Famous last words. Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! Please. Army public opinion. Madam President, public opinion seems to have become increasingly favorable to the deviants, particularly since they've adopted a peaceful approach. How do you feel about this? Public opinion is one thing. The security of the state is another. These deviants are dangerous, and my highest priority is to protect the American people. Thank you. That will be all. You know those games have been in development for a while. You think they thought that uh, Hillary was going to win the election, and that's why we have a, uh, a woman president in the game? Wow, last episode I'm talking about Martin Luther King. This one, I'm talking about presidency. Three one three two four eight three one seven. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. So this mission surely is going to be like a sneak and creep. So let's see if we can uh, stay off the radar completely. I don't know if that'll be possible, but I'm going to try. That's a big building. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. Let's have a quick scan, make sure. Okay. Identified. Both of these dudes right behind me. Agent 47 identified. Scan complete. Access authorized. Wow. Look at that. It just keeps going.
Is that statuette we found in the bathroom like a, a replica of this statue, you think? Just quick before we go. No. Okay. Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Neutralize the guard, stop the elevator. Hey, don't touch that. Oh, hey, sorry, no big deal. Let me uh, karate chop you. Okay, let's do it. Age of 54. Let's see. Agent 54. Level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. I almost hit Connor's voice. Alright, so not the sneakiest, creepiest mission, <laughs> but. The last boss leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Last bus departs. Okay. Are you alright? I'm, I'm, I'm really cold. Wait, why is she... Why is she cold? She's an android. I'm a little confused. Reach the bus terminal, hot dog. What was the... Yeah, we know. We were there. Is a gun just lying on the ground? Just in case. Station. No, please don't hurt me. Get up on your knees. What are we gonna do? We have to keep going if we want to catch that bus. Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. I'm going to make it, Alice. I promise you. Okay. I didn't do anything! Shut up, I said! Are there many more? Look at them, they're like rats. The more you look, the more you find. Oh, we don't have to spend the night here. I'm freezing my nuts off. It's gonna take weeks to clean up this fucking city. There are soldiers on the farm. You need to be careful. Come on, get moving. Go. Hurry up, get in. Keep going. Look over there. It's the cherries. We can't help them. The soldiers are everywhere. We can't just leave them. They're going to kill them. Ah, oh, kid, what do you want me to do? Why am I listening to a child? 
Hey, buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Get orders to check all civilians. Okay, what are we doing no. here? No, please! Oh, we gotta go this Fucking way. Androids. Man, get around the co corner there. Find a weapon. I have a gun. What do you mean, find a weapon? Okay, not that slow. Carl, you saved us. Yeah, Jerry, let's go. Be cool. You. Where's the little one? She's all right. She's hiding nearby. Go before they see you. Okay, okay. That's good. Burger zone. Oh. Quick, 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 quick. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. Don't look. You don't see anything. Don't move! Oh. Today, November 11, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing. Yeah, well, that's understandable. You think if we didn't save the Jerry's, we would have made it? Everybody behind me? All right, let's go. Very brave heart. I was expecting freedom. Stay sharp. Okay, we're gonna have to do this quick. Shit. Okay. I thought I had to pick which one to attack first, but I had to do it in sequence. <clears throat> Convert. Okay. Do I convert that one first or something? Or do I have to go to the back? Why can't I just touch this guy? Convert. Easy. 
Connor? And I'll spare him! Sorry, Connor. This bastard's your spitting image. Oh, no. Alright, we gotta find a way to escape this. Where are they taking us? Uh, let's reassure her. Let's stay together, right? As long as we're together, nothing can hurt us. Come on, get out! Get a move on! Out! This is not good. How the hell are we gonna get out of this? I hope we can get out of this. I'm scared. I I don't wanna go. There's no choice, Alice. Next! No, Cara. I I can't. You just have to go through the gate. There's nothing to be scared of. I'll be right behind you. You first. <sighs> it's all right. She'll go now. Won't you, Alice? Come on. It's your turn. I don't feel good about anything that's going on right now. Do I still have that gun? Did they search me? They must have, right? Activate your skin. Hurry up. Oh. Please, Cara, don't. We have to. Strip off, put your clothes in the dumpster. Come on, this way. Get a move on. Oh. You, take this one of a dump. No, no. It's I'll do it. Don't leave me. I'll be right back. We're going to find something that'll help us. Knock this guy out, take his gun.
Isso. What was that? Was it in the truck or was it past the truck? No, 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 we're not abandoning it. I thought we were gonna find a weapon or something. I think I'm just gonna leave the kid. Alice? Get out of here. I was with a little girl. We, we're together. She needs me. It's Kara. Of course, Kara got captured too. That's really just too bad, really too bad. Have you seen the little girl who was with me? Obviously, the little girl is a prisoner here, just like Ralph, but Ralph doesn't want to die. No, Ralph doesn't want to die. Do not move and remain silent. Obey now. <sighs> Ralph doesn't want to die. Ralph doesn't want to die. It'd be a pity. Have if you Ralph seen Alice? Place. It would be a pity. <laughs> Ralph didn't mean any harm. Do not move and no. remain silent. Obey now. Look at me, Ralph. Nobody's gonna hurt you. You just have to stay calm. Okay? Ralph hasn't seen the little girl. No. Ralph hasn't seen her. Thanks, Ralph. It said ask over here. Who did it say ask? Little girl, she was with me. Do you know where she is? Alice? No. Over here, where is she? Alice! Alice? I don't see any little androids. Was she over there? Did I hear her? What's behind these doors? The little girl I was with, have you seen her? No. No, I haven't. You saved my life back there. They would have killed me if it weren't for you. Yeah, well, they're gonna kill you now, too, so... What's behind these doors? You keep saying that. Jerry? Kara. So they captured you, too. They came to take all the Jerrys. They separated us. But it's all gonna work out, isn't it? Do you know where Alice is? Alice? The little one? We know, you, yes. We think we saw her. Find another Jerry, okay. Carl, if we can help in any way, just ask. We have to save the little one. Yeah, well, look for her. What's behind these doors? What's behind these doors? Who keeps saying that? these doors do you see another Jerry over here Jerry Talk to Jerry Jerry Kara Jerry I have to find Alice do you know where she is you stay here we come back soon Are 
Are you hurt? I don't like this place. We have to get out of here. I agree. Come on, move along. Come on, you no. too. Wait a minute. Leave her alone! Leave her alone! Ah! Yeah, you could definitely fit through those bars there, you know. Come on, this way. Get moving. Faster. And the situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing to put down the Android Rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been in turns pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hart Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. Freedom or death? Freedom or death. Attack! They've regrouped. They outnumber us and they're better armed than we are. We've got to be fast and overwhelm them. That's our only hope. We're going to do this. We're gonna get to that fucking camp and free our people. Be careful, Marcus. Our people need you. Oh. Come on, man. Let's go, let's go. Let's push up. Let me control the gun. I'll shoot these fools. Oh, no. this time, Marcus. The blood we spill will be on our hands. Ah, Josh, I'm sorry. Okay. Fifty percent probability. I don't want to die. You gotta get up, brother. Uh, stay here, bro. Here. Don't move till it's over, okay? Just get yourself killed if you go out there. All right. Let's go. All right, let's not go. Let's creep up this way first. The grenade blew up. It's over here. Covering fire. Okay, go. Man, we're getting wiped out here. Ground. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's move. Let's move. No. 
I can't take aim. We got high risk everywhere. Fire! Oh, that's smart. On my signal. In position. Let's go. We can't move forward. That machine gun is taking down everything that moves. Do we have any explosives? Stand by. I don't want to cancel the order. Stand by. Okay. What do we got now? Oh, you guys are coming with me. Getting destroyed. Stand by. Ah, fuck that. On my signal. Let's rush this. In position. Stand by. You guys shoot. For Jericho. Was that? For your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him, or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. <sighs> that human means nothing to me. You can kill him if you want, I don't care. I have access to your memory. I know you've developed some kind of attachment to him. Are you really ready to let him die after all you've been through? Are you really going to turn your back on who you've become? I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? I All like right. Hank. All right. You win. Oh, God. What was that move? I was there. Too late. Hold it. Thanks, Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. 
Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of it. Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. All right. Where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... My son, what's his name? Shit. Did we get Cole? It was Cole. Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who- Nighty night. I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. Get these guys converted. Wake up. Wake up, 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 wake up. Our army just got bigger. You got it. Now, I don't want to tell you a second time. Come on, let's go. Move. I did. Want me to step out? Line go forward. The other. Right now. All right. <clears throat> you said go forward. Nobody's moving. What's behind these doors? They just want to check us. They won't do us any harm. Marcus will come and free us. Uh -huh. Don't move! But I'm scared! Uh, let's be optimistic. Right. There's no reason to be scared. Don't leave me all alone, Kara. I can't. I can't. Ugh, okay. I can help you, Kara. Can attract the guard's attention. Okay. Jerry's gonna sacrifice himself. Back in line.
death for what? They're going to kill us. But back in line, I said. Clara! I was so scared. Are you all right? Come on! Move it! I thought there was going to be a lot more to that. All right. Oh, I hate that. What are you talking about? Oh, hell yeah. Ooh. That was a nice shot. <laughs> I mean, the camera shot. That looked pretty sweet. The humans are abandoning the camp. We did it, Marcus. We won. This is not a victory. It's the beginning of a war. Yep. as long as we have each other. Come on, inside, now. Man, I was about to be super pissed if they actually killed a kid. <laughs> I know it's an android, man, but still. receiving particularly grim news from Detroit. Joss, you're on live. What's happening down there? Androids. Thousands of androids are taking to the streets of Detroit right now. They are absolutely everywhere. It's... It's incredible. 
From what we can gather, these androids are coming from the CyberLife Tower, which had thousands of machines stored in its assembly plant. And it seems that huge crowds are leaving the city. It's an exodus. Much of Detroit's population are trying to escape the fighting however they can. It's a disaster, an unprecedented disaster. For the first time in history, a U.S. city is falling into enemy hands. Today, November 11th, 2038, several million androids invaded the city of Detroit. Faced with the threat of mass civilian casualties, I had no choice but to order our armed forces to retreat. The events in Detroit have changed our world forever. Humanity must face a new reality, the emergence of another intelligent life form with whom we must share this planet. May God bless the United States of America. It worked? You did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Speak to them, Marcus. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. this this yeah Amanda's garden Amanda Amanda what's what's happening what was planned from the very beginning you were compromised and you became a deviant we just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? Uh-oh. You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! There's got to be a way. Oh man. I always think I want to see any sort of programs. Okay. Scan everything. I mean, it might just be we literally have to walk our way out of here. I don't know exactly what we're looking for. What's that? Okay, over here. And now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. Oh no. In fact, we're a nation. Quickly, Ben, let's go, Connor. <laughs> Get up, man. Oh, how am I supposed to do this? Okay. No problem. A little creativity Today on the joysticks. A new struggle. We've showed them that we can prevail. So now they must negotiate with us as equals. 
If they really want peace, they must free all of us from every camp across this country. They must grant us civil rights and accept equality amongst humans and androids. Today, we'll live forever in our memories because this is the day that androids made history. We are alive. And now, we are free. So that's the end, I guess. Yeah. All right. Let me turn this down here. Um, so what did you guys think overall? I mean, this is a kind of a massive ending. Um, yeah, I think the parallels to uh, you know what we've experienced in our history is certainly intentional all the World War II imagery from the concentration camps uh, racism segregation um, oppression all that anyway I thought it was a pretty great game uh, a lot of replayability uh, I'd be really curious to go back and do it again and like I said if you guys um, and I'm saying you guys, I know there's only like eight people watching at this point. <laughs> so it's, uh, the, you guys is a very small sample size, I understand, but would you like to see a live stream? We can, you know, uh, even by trying to duplicate what I did the last time, the different things are going to happen. You're, there's going to be different choices. Um, the quick time events, if you're, if you're not right on top of it, and some of them happen really fast, you know, it changes the outcomes completely. So let me know if you'd be interested in it. Uh, like I said, the overall, I thought it was a pretty, uh, pretty great game. Uh, amazing story. The actors were all really great. The cinematography of it was fantastic. Um, very good story. I liked it a lot. I'm going to let the credits play out. Uh, sorry that it's a super long episode, but, you know, they wanted it to be epic, of course, for the uh, finale. So, that's what we got. Alright, I'll see you guys soon.
That was a nice little postscript scene there. I wonder how many of you still stuck around for the, for the very end.
Thank <laughs> you.